Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Uh, we just joined the Neighborhood Watch with these guys, which is obviously going to be a very successful Neighborhood Watch group. And uh, Tifa has joined the party, so it'll be cool to check out her new skills. And uh, we'll probably control her when battle comes up, whenever that occurs. Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Okay, on it. We should prepare just in case. What kind of prep did you have in mind? Uh, we should actually check to see if she comes in with, uh, yeah, she's level 10. So we have SP for her, for her. I guess the question is, do we wait to see how she plays out in battle? Or do we just throw things in here? So we can do attack power, speed, max HP, or max MP. Um, I will take the HP. So I feel like that's a really safe grab. Uh, but then let's hold off and see how she plays out and what her skills are like and go from there. Just a little noises that worry me. Trains don't start moving again. Searching for candidates. That sword's massive. <laughs> That's what they all say. Good luck, Tifa, and be careful. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters Look at that. right at home. You see the, the upper levels of Midgard? Up, the more they show up. Just a constant reminder of how... Uh, Oppressed people are down here. Oppressed and depressed. Ooh. Ice materia. Okay, so these we can give her. So currently, we've got HP up and fire materia. Uh, we can also actually set one in here now. Why don't I take... Shocker. Okay, that's on her. Why don't I take a... Take a lightning. And then with her, allows you to restore your own HP and cure poison with Chakra. The amount restored is relative to damage received, and more is restored the lower your HP. Okay, good to know. Uh, let's give her the ice as well. Use Blizzard. Cool. Now, I should point out, we do have, um... Here's our first challenger. Cool. Show me what you got, Cloud. Don't overdo I'm actually going to switch to her. Tifa's strength. She excels at close-range combat and uses combos to deal a lot of damage. Press square to execute a normal punch or hold it down to deliver a single powerful blow. Unbridled strength can be used to enhance her unique ability as well as increase the number of attacks that can be chained together. Let me handle this. Oh, yeah, a lot of little quick jabs. Okay. Uh, I was going to say that we do have... This was just a warm-up. I'll bet. Let's keep at it. We have a sort of enemy intel screen. Press options to see a full map of Midgar. Oh, cool. All right. If we go over to this enemy intel page, it can show us, like... The number of enemies we've defeated, uh, what their resistances are, and I don't know how we unlock these over time, but uh, eventually we'll be able to identify what those are and then uh, have a much better plan against them. Okay, when we get in here, I'm going to switch immediately. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Tifa's unique ability. As Tifa, you can press triangle to execute the martial technique Whirling Uppercut. To access more advanced techniques, you must use Unbridled Strength to increase your Chi level. At least, or at level 2, you will execute Omni Strike. And at level 3, Rise and Fall. Upon utilizing an advanced technique, you will expend Chi and drop one level. Tifa's martial techniques are offensive, are effective against staggered enemies and will increase the damage bonus applied during this state. Yeah. Okay, so unbridled strength. Now, where do we see what her buildup is? Jeez, that's so cool. We're so strong right now; it's hard to even experiment with her. Moogle medals. All right. I'm sure at some point it's gonna be like, oh my god, this is why we have so many Moogle medals. Drop an antidotes, which means maybe poison? 
Also, if we go into battle settings, I think we can set her as leader so that we can just uh, straight up control her. It's over. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's go unbridled strength. See ya. Bye. Oh, these guys are too weak for her. You're good at this. Charging in like it was nothing. You too. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. <laughs> if you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. Gotcha. By the way, what? that one's going to be on the top. This will work. <laughs> Gotta learn what you're going to do. Yeah. Some enemies will occasionally bind your party members with unblockable attacks. If your character is bound and unable to act, quickly switch to a different character. Okay. It's cloud trap? Yeah. yeah, of course. Uh, bring it. Let's go dive kick, leap into the air, and unleash a powerful kick. There. <laughs> wow, she's good. All right, I think that might be the last. She's event. good. You won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know. True. We'll take it. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. You got it. Let's just scan the arena. Looks clear. So being able to set that uh, leader is nice, I suppose, so that you can rush into battle with the one that you want. I just want to see. We saw this gate earlier. I wonder if these eventually become accessible. Have to see. Doesn't look like a perk. Is that Wedge standing up there right now? No, nope, that's <laughs> no, nope, that's not Wedge. Searching for candidates. Tally of Monster Slain has been updated. Got new numbers for Monster Slain. Oh, check them out. Look at that. Uh, Fiend Slain bottom right showing eight. That is so cool. Okay, that keeps me pretty motivated. <laughs> Back already? Got every last one too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. Really? So I heard. I've got to ask though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Oh, it's so much better. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Uh -oh. oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... <laughs> It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great. I'll come too. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Sorry. Go on. Maybe <sighs> next time. Somebody doesn't You're pick fair. up on social cues. Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. <sighs> hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. Uh, we will for sure be checking. Let's go to it. So, um, her spells and stuff, if we go into here... Um, it's tough to say what we should upgrade because we didn't have to use a lot of her MP. But I don't want to just leave her weapons... Uh, without any upgrades, so let's do what we can here. I think just a uh... speed. I don't know how that's going to come into play yet. Just running around the battlefield faster seems okay. We can raise MP. Let's just take attack power. And they both have uh, two SP left, I guess. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters on Scrap Boulevard? 
Yeah, that was us, bud. All right, buddy, listen up. Hold up. Heard there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You the man? Word spreads fast around here. <laughs> what if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. Ugh. Man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? Yours on the house. Badass Whoa. like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Iron blade. Or if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. I'm curious to see what he's got. Weapons and armor. So iron bangles and star bracelets. Make the most of materia. And this one, I guess, has a little bit more armor. Sophisticated accoutrement with a reasonable price tag. Out of our price range right now. Accessories-wise, we've seen these. Uh, bulletproof vests increase vitality by five. Earrings, magic power. Talismans do spirit. And revival earrings. Enter battle with the auto life status effect. Breaks upon use. Earrings imbued with a spirit capable of restoring one's fading consciousness. So does this just... Uh, this probably just revive somebody uh, instead of using a phoenix down. Maybe once per battle or who knows. Um, let's see. I guess, you know what? Let's get this. And let's throw it on to... Don't be a stranger. On to Tifa. You can now acquire weapon abilities. Once you achieve maximum proficiency in a weapon's ability, that ability becomes your own. And you can use it without the weapon equipped. Note that the Buster Sword ability is at maximum proficiency from the beginning. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know, could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Okay, so if we level up the weapon, Let's go. A great sword cast from carefully selected ore. It's got less attack power, but higher. I'm not sure what that second one is, but we'll see it in a second. Let's see. Physical damage reduction 10% when guarding. Punisher mode, counter damage, 5% boost. Pretty nice. Straight up defense or HP plus 150. Let's try the uh, counter. And physical damage reduction when guarding. Yeah, let's take this too. And then it's got three slots as well. So we'll see if we have to actually remove these. change over from here. So it's the magic attack. This does more magic damage. Uh, and it's got a triple slash ability. Slash three enemies in quick succession, dealing more damage with each blow. I like it. Reslot material from previous weapon. Oh, that's so cool that it does that. That's super nice. And then we can take an extra one. So we have HP up. We have fire. I think we have ice in the bottom one, or lightning. So let's take... Uh, Let's take ice. We have plenty of potions. So I can rely on that instead of a, a personal heal. And let's also check Tifa. We have that slot here. We'll give her the revival earrings. Doesn't give any other stat bonuses, but. Hey, you just opened up shop in the area, didn't you? Maybe. Who's asking? I hear you sell swords. Want to introduce yourself Searching to for candidates. Get off on the right. Oh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, uh, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? <laughs> if it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. 
Prove yourself at these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. I'm down. Odd jobs. Excellent. Uh, use the middle button to access the map and R2 to open quests. From there, you can check current job requests. You can tackle multiple quests at once. The more jobs you take on, the more your fame and repute grow among the local residents. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. <laughs> Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate. My name is Chadley. Basically just read his Tinder I'm an profile. Intern for Shinra's research and development division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. Oh. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Okay, battle intel. We were just talking about it, so this is perfect. When you complete battle intel missions for Chadley, he will develop a new kinds of materia. You can view battle intel missions from battle intel in the main menu. Completing missions while uh, respective quests are active will grant additional rewards. All right, well, let's uh, check this out. So if we go into materia, let's maybe remove, wait, which one did we give her? So she's got ice, let's remove that. And we'll go assess. Use assess on a single target. And then level two will be use assess on all targets. And I guess this is going to expose their weaknesses to us. If we go into battle intel, zero of one. Monster bio. The extreme conditions in which certain monsters thrive have provided them with unique curative abilities. My aim is to harness this skill in the form of materia. Uh, assess enemies to provide further intel. We need to assess two enemy types. New materia, auto cure. <laughs> uh, yeah, now you're talking. Is there a way to be tracking this, I wonder? I can sort them. Prioritizing complete. But I can't check them. I just need to assess two. We'll just have to, uh, we'll have to remember that. Lost friends. Okay, here. So Chadley's report. Uh, how do we access... Oh, we could cycle L1 and R1. Rat problem, nuisance in the factory, and lost friends. So relative to us, I guess let's just help Chadley. Please set the orb of assessed materia to your equipment and use it to gather battle intel. Yeah, okay, you got it, we will. You're gonna have to talk to your clients if you want all the details. I hear you sell swords. Let's try this out. We'll go to the one that seems closest, Lost Friends. Just talk to Betty. Okay. So these are like the odd jobs. I like doing these kind of things. It's nice to get to know everybody. Hey, where'd you get? Oh, hey there. Uh, is Marlene with you? No. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping she could help me find my friends. Aww. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. <laughs> they have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people would give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. Oh, yeah. And they're all cats. <laughs> of course. They're, cats. they're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. By my friends, please. Okay, we will. Now, do we have... Do we have a way of tracking that? Or is that just something we have to keep our eye on? We did see a cat earlier. I know we've seen at least one. 
So now if we view this, does it tell us? It does, actually. Search the slum for three cats. Okay, we'll do that on our way to here. The rat problem. Talk to the item store owner. One of the cats wall girls, but cascades. Oh, I'm just like, I'm just like, scanning, heavy scanning. There's one cat identified. Wait, did you hear that just now? I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. I think so too. So maybe we'll just get an audio cue to find them. That'll be really helpful. Oh, Cloud, how the mighty have fallen. I know. I feel it. I feel it, bro. Looking for cats. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a nice way of tracking it, actually. The open for business. I'm dying. You can't do it. Okay, and then... How are we going to get back in here? Looks like we have to go around the left side of her like building. don't even... Uh, I feel like we're going to be ending up here at some point. It's too open. Something weird's going to happen here. Three grenades. Nice. Hello. Hello. Oh, what do we have here? I'm guessing you're that merc I've heard so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? I'm not. People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talliger factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there. And if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talliger factory and talk to Narjan. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. You got it. Uh, what does he sell? Items. He sells potion and ethers. Now, this looks like we're getting a discount. I guess. Like 30% off. I don't know. If, I don't know what that means. Down 30%, down 100%. Because here, if we take this, it's 100 gold. We'll have to maybe check. Or 100 gil, I should say. This is definitely not 100% off. Good to hear. So I was at the Honey Bee Inn, and I met this incredible girl. A woman of my dreams. I don't know how much I spent on her. Oh. I hear a cat. You don't look the type. Hey man, check it out. This song's pretty sweet, ain't it? You like it? You feeling it? Have a copy. I popped a chocobo. <laughs> That's really good. I can't. I can't tell if the cat sound is coming from the recording or not. I don't even think that's a cat sound. Apparently, that's uh, some type of instrument. Okay, I don't think we need to head out here, do we? No. Okay, so let's figure out where we want to be going. Um, problem solving. That's what we're doing. Rat problem. Here's the factory. Let's go. Tifa, if you hear the cats, we hard stop, okay? My sister on the plane. You can't like forever. Like I'm not Wait, the only one did exactly. you hear that just now? Yeah, yeah it looks it's suspiciously like the other cat. If 
the planet's a living being. <laughs> Step back. Not for us, it is. Factory's isn't. off limits. Drakes <laughs> have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? In that case, be my guest. We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. Don't gotta tell me twice. Okay, so I'm gonna switch our battle leader back to Cloud. Uh. Because I want to make sure that we use the assess. And there's probably, we should, our, our materia can be swapped around later, but we'll definitely take some time to optimize at some point. But right now, most of the enemies we're facing just die so quickly anyway. That's a tease right here. Big tease. Here we go. You asked for it. Okay, so we still need to build up the ATB. Oh, I'm... Come on. All set. <laughs> Take the lead of all the time. Hey, let's go assess. Forge your C sounds good. Let's do it right. Okay. Large insects found throughout the slums. They always move in swarms, scavenging for food scraps and preying on whatever crosses their path, whether it be a small animal or a human. Tactical data not available. They drop... Uh, this is so cool. It shows you what they drop. Uh, rare items, potentially. Stealable items. What's the icon key? Oh, there it is. Okay. So weaknesses to ice and magic. Let's go. Wow, that is a Just ton. Like that, okay? See that thousand damage? Gotcha. So I imagine you're going to always want to have somebody in your party with assess, right? Unless you're just going through um, mobs that you've already faced before. This looks... Yeah, we can't go there. Okay. Let's end this quick. Not a problem. Take the lead. I got this. Let's uh, let's watch him do his triple slash on this one. There you go. He just bounces, kills them all from the bounce. That's so sick. Uh, I'm curious to see if our problem solving. No, that's not the one. Chadley's report. He's helped with his research. Use the assessment material to gather intel on fiends. So we did that once, but... I don't know if we have to reassess uh, the same one multiple times to get more intel. Ah, there it is. <laughs> And then this is where we can rest. Looks like we can buy potions here. The potion's 50 gil. 50 gil, Phoenix down 300, antidotes 80. Should rest. <laughs> 